you guys this is my utterly amazed face because for some reason i didn't i did not know the doors in my apartment had locks right let me see my bedroom got one too i had no idea and i just saw this little button i'm like is this a screw out of place hold on this whole time i didn't know there was locks but this little button right here that's the freaking lock i had no idea <laughs> works great okay let's check out this hair okay and i did wash it and condition it because it's been breaking at the ends and stuff so yeah nice fresh clean hair it definitely looks longer like this because the curls have kind of like dropped down. Looks good though. Y'all can see the curl pattern in the front. I tried to keep the deep conditioning just at the ends. Though some of my ends are like about an inch or so un not undone, but just like free. A little oil, just like a tap. Tap of oil. I don't want to over oil it, but just little four lines. And then it probably is not gonna last, <laughs> gonna go very far, but just a little oil. Just another day here, and then Batman will be here. So Batman gonna be sitting on the bed, probably on the windowsill, because that's what he do. That's what he used to do. I got to insert a picture of him when he used to just sit in the window at the house. My auntie, we didn't actually mind Batman sitting in the window. But when we got Bono, he would he wanted to sit in the window too because he saw Batman do it. But when Bono would be in the window, like on the window still, he, we would come home and he would be so excited to see us. He would start like banging on the glass. And my auntie would be like, no, no more window. So from then we had like a pet gate, but I think we took the pet gate down now. But like for you, like we recently took it down, like maybe a week before I left. Actually, I think she put it back up because you know, my auntie's a foster parent and she, um, has to have like caseworkers and stuff come in a lot and um bono be doing too much not that he's like he wants to be all up in your face <laughs> so and everybody don't like dogs so we put them up for stuff like that and because he would be banging on the window afternoon guys so i'm sitting here cutting up boxes um i started doing this <clears throat> what did i start this i think i started at the end of december um, cutting up boxes. I'm gonna make an ottoman, but I figured why not use some items that I had on hand. So I have another stack, probably bigger than this, of boxes that I cut down, like the TV box and all type of boxes. Instead of just trashing them, I figured I could use them for a project. So I'm gonna make some type of ottoman. I may make a bench, but for the shape that I had in mind, it was a circle for the ottoman. So I've been cutting out these um boxes um these circles and i've been using my pizza pan i think this is 14 inches i'm not sure i'm not sure but i've been using that as a guide this is the only thing that's going to the landfill so here are the other ones um i don't know how many it is but there's quite a few of them in there and then i add this stack in there is look at the pretty snow guys that part. But the pretty snow. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. I'd say we did pretty good. I got some Pyrex glassware. And yeah. Good trip.
phone but i'm so happy with my goodwill purchases i can't believe i actually found a wicker basket at goodwill and i had wanted some pride Pryrex um, cook like measuring cup and those little bowls because I've been needing bowls to mix stuff up in so I'm so happy that I found some bowls and stuff so I did um, go ahead and put the dishwasher safe items in the dishwasher because I know it's going to get real hot and steamy in there and then I'm just going to wash um, this little Stay Magical unicorn cup it's just pink and white and it has gold flecks on it um, so it's kind of cute and then you guys i don't know if y'all could see but this little container said popcorn on it and then it's from crate and barrel so you know i got a couple little things and you know my cookware all my dinnerware stuff and mugs are pretty much pink and white so i'm kind of continuing that theme a little bit so a little soap and water can really make something shine y'all see how it's shining hold on I have to dry it off real good. Excuse the dishwasher noises, but my company card also arrived. Yo, <laughs> this thing say my credit limit thirty thousand dollars. I could pay my student loan off right now with your fourteen thou wow. <laughs> but you can only use the card for for like business expenses and. Of course, the company pays the bill, but they make sure and check it very closely that it's specifically for business stuff. Like, so it's not a card that you use for personal everyday stuff. So I thought that, oh, so I did go and I got my nails taken off and I just got a gel polish. I wanted him to do two coats of the base coat. Humble looked at me and said, no. I said, <laughs> nobody has never he said why do you want two coats and i was like all right sir and he was like no why do you want two coats because i feel like it make it thicker he was like no no good no good one one is enough i was like all right man he had to shut me down like that he did not have to say no the first time but um he did a pretty good job i thought i went in there and i was like soak off you know gel polish but and I, honestly i was like you could you could I told him, you could file it off. You could do whatever you got to do, sir. You wouldn't even got to soak it. And he was like, soak is better. But he ended up taking them off with just like a plastic nail tip, which honestly, maybe the nails were just ready to come off because they were coming off pretty easy and it wasn't hurting. But I know that's not the best way to have a nail tech remove the acrylic from your nails. But it was not painful, though, so yeah and he he did a good job and then i probably wasn't there for more than 30 40 minutes and he did a really good job so they're just sure i can make a fist now because i had broke two nails the cuticles look really good on them and stuff there's no like running you know how gel polish can run off and stuff but they all look really good and i just chose a pink and i was like girl what is up with you in this color pink i'm really getting my own nerves <laughs> like i'm really getting on my own nerves with this color pink but i do like it tomorrow is my flight to alabama to go pick up my dog oh what i came on here to tell y'all was i thought dogs were like banned from the the metro system in dc because i could have sworn i said no i saw like no pets allowed or something but on their website, it says dogs, only service dogs are able to be unconfined in the train and the bus, but dogs have to be in a carrier. And I was like, where did I read no pets at all? Like, I thought it said no animal, like none at all. But if he's in a carrier, because I'm just thinking once I get back um, from Alabama, I don't know if I want to take an Uber because it's supposed to have been like snowed again. So I'm like, maybe our Metro home or something. I don't know. But I was just contemplating uh, my routes to travel. And I was like, can I even, how am I going to, you know, like walk him and stuff? Like, how am I, am I allowed to transport him anyway? Besides like a Uber with, you know, the pit access. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see, but it appears that you can bring animals on the metro as long as they're in a carrier, a confined carrier.
Okay, everyone, it's 10 o'clock and my flat, my flat leaves at 1, yeah, the flat leaves at 1.59, 2 o'clock. So, this time, I think, I think I'm going to take the train to the airport. I'm going to take... I want to get there at like 12 something. So this one, it come, this one comes in 15 minutes, but I do not, again, my flight is at 159. Of course I do want to give myself a good enough time, but I want to get there. I want to get there. I want to get there at um, 12. There's two hours. Almost at the airport. So, probably leave what, 11, 10 45, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. It takes 38 minutes to get there. Why? Let me call y'all back. Let me call y'all back. I've made it to the second train. I'm taking the blue line at the Metro Center to Franconia Springfield. And I need to ride six or eight stops to the DCA airport. So let's go. It comes in 12 minutes. health all the time that's why he need me be going on baby dog hmm? we gonna find you a good vet in dc okay and you need a teeth cleaner good morning 
we are heading to my orthopedic doctor appointment. Um, I had the appointment on the 28th, but I I was in DC. So while I'm here, I went ahead and scheduled an appointment to see the orthopedic surgeon, you know, update him. I need since having knee surgery on November 10th. We're coming up on two months. Um, my knee is still swollen at the top, which is kind of weird because when I had surgery, they also removed like the top layer of tissue on top of my knee because it was also swollen from the meniscus tear. But it's still swollen, which um, I was asking questions about it and they were like, swelling can last like a whole year. And I'm like, a year? A year? A year? we'll see um hopefully not it's been two months you know and after like a week or two they were like really like hmm you're swollen still so ever since then i've been still swollen they try like some i'm gonna call it electrolysis type stuff where they put some electrodes on my um around my knee and then stuff like that so i was like thought that would have done the trick you know but It is what it is. I mean, I don't have any issues like moving my knee and things like that. Like I have full range of motion for the most part. Now lunges and squats can be a little tricky. Like we got, if I got to do multiple sets, that can be a lot, especially if y'all want me to jump into those type of things. But I can do the low impact version just fine. So it's weird. So I'm gonna see what they say. Now, I will say I have not been icing like I'm supposed to. Um, that's my, I just, I just don't be having the time. That's what's wrong with me now. So, I'm going to try to ice more. I did see on Amazon they have like this knee brace that you insert the little ice um, packs into. And I thought that was really cool. So, I'll probably buy that. And I'm going to get one of those pillows that, is, that are raised. It was like forty dollars. I was like forty dollars for a block. Uh -uh. I'ma buy it because I definitely, I definitely want to not be swollen anymore and get back to normal life. Like they took ten percent of my meniscus out, you know. So I got like like ninety two. He said less than ten percent. So I got probably like ninety. 94% of my meniscus and they cleaned it up really good and all that. Da -de -da -de -da -da -da. Come on, Bible. They got a Bible in the room. That's what I'm talking about. Can I see my dog? Yeah. You ever driving no lately? Uh-uh. Yes. Well, you need to save it. Give it to her. It's one dose. Who did it look at me on that thing? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not look like me. <laughs> I'm being coerced into rearranging the room again. I don't mind. Uh, my under like the you bed said, project. You're getting like you said by this. <laughs> Tis almost done. Why you want to give up? I told you on T one and done. Oh, this mud is so long. It's touching my ankles. Um, it's touching my ankles. Just mm -hmm. go. Not the long way, huh? Just go down. Now, you see my feet? It's my first time putting him in the carrier. He's standing, and there's lots of space. But you're going to have to sit down, okay? When we get on this plane, you're going to have to sit down. Are you listening? You're gonna have to sit. Let's practice, okay? So it turns out I'm gonna check two bags. I'm gonna take this storage organizer. This is the top of it. This for the bathroom. My baby book. So wait, this dog said, ma'am, I know you woke me up. I just woke him up, took him outside. You know what he do? He came back in here. Sir, we are leaving. I know you don't know what's going on, but you're coming with me. 
he was like, thank you for the 3 a.m. pee-pee break, but I'm finna go back to sleep, ma'am. I'm sorry, no, you're not. You aren't. We have to go. You understand? <sighs> you all know it's gonna be like, what's going on? I'll be taking that. We'll do. See you later. Okay. Oh, where's my camera? Right here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, bad boy. And we're off.
nicer. There's fresh food and water for you there. Yeah, look at the jacket. <clears throat> I couldn't show y'all for real at home. Auntie probably didn't have good camera work. This mud is at my ankles. I'm so weak. <laughs> yeah. I'm too weak. All Batman is doing is sleeping and it's really upsetting me because we could be doing anything and he over here sleep. He been sleep all day. Occasionally I go over there and wake him up. I could see clearly see he's still alive and breathing. But I'm bored. Ain't that why I brought a dog? To incite my life. But Batman is so chill, like <laughs> You been sleep all day. You really have. You need to get up. I didn't slept too, shoe. Get up. I'm about to fold these blankets up. We going outside. So he's up now. I think he wanted to go outside. So while he was asleep, I washed all his blankets and I washed his jackets and sweaters. Our second outing today. He seems happy about it. I don't know about the snow. He is a little cold. Gonna have to get him some boots if this weather keeps up. Where do you want to go? Two pools in DC so far. Do y'all see him shaking? <laughs> we can go in the house, you know. You've done what you had to do. You still don't want the cheese. <clears throat> You keep going over there and it's still a washer and dryer. You wanna play? Hmm? You wanna play? Hmm? Go get it. No. I know you want it. Hmm. 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 You do want it. I knew you wanted it. In Kanto is really good so far. In Kanto, however you say it. This is a great movie so far. <laughs> Tears. Encanto was actually really good. I'm just a little sad that well, y'all seen the movie. If y'all y'all probably got kids that want to see it, but when I saw the preview like last year, I was like, I got to see that movie. Did anybody else be like that with Disney movies? But it was really good, except I just wanted a little bit more from the main character. You know, not like I wanted more for her. Like it was beautiful what happened. But I wanted to see, it was beautiful, like, we. I get what her gift is, I don't know, but I just wanted to, to have something else, you know, I wanted more. I wanted bigger, better than everything, even though it was, I just want more, that's all. <laughs> it was good though.